get tired of seeing boring, gross. Ah, uh, boy. <clears throat> I tried. Let's look at two examples. We've got the Archie Wave version of Antoine de Colette, and we have the post Genesis Wave Antoine. We're comparing these two because this shows a classic principle in design philosophy and in a world of oversaturated fan characters. We can learn a thing or two, all right? So let's get started. Why did they change the designs? Okay, well, one reason is probably to do with that giant lawsuit, but besides that, they mentioned, I think somewhere they mentioned, the team mentioned that they, they wanted to clean things up a little bit, make things look a little more Sonic-like. I think Sega got involved. Sega was like, this is a no-go zone. So, <clears throat> why the change? Why did Sega mandate if they did? I'm sort of partially, partially making that up. Why did they mandate the change? And I think that when we look compare the two, we can look at the design principles and then see what makes a nice fan character. And maybe you'll learn one, maybe two things that you can apply to your fan characters. And then after this, in the future, I'm going to deconstruct the absolute heck out of the fan characters that were submitted to this tweet right here. Okay? I said that I was doing a series. And that if you submitted your fan characters, I was allowed to, on no uncertain terms, destroy them. <clears throat> so let's notice something. What makes him unique in the original version? Well, for one, his muzzle. Tails, uh... Tails' muzzle goes like this, okay? It's these classic shapes. Antoine is the exact opposite, okay? They're literally just flipped. So that's one unique design feature about him. Okay. Next, what's another unique design feature? He has um, freckles on him, okay? Another unique design feature, and we're comparing this to like Sonic or Tails, okay? What's the next design feature? He has hair, okay? Not many Sonic characters have hair, if any. And <clears throat> this design, you know, if we got his skull like this, it works pretty easy. You just draw a little V in the center of his head, and you can kind of guess where these go, you know, these like. These are, these are nice shapes. So, yep, yeah, okay. Another design feature change. Now we've given him hair on the back of his head. And it's kind of ambiguous where it ends. It pro probably like, comes through here. So that's another design feature that's unique. Now we have his ears as well. His ears, instead of going this way or being giant, they have these curves. They're like backwards rectangles. Another design feature that's different. Oh, but what's this? He also has these inline, inline eye things. I don't know what they're called. But these guys here. Okay. Another design feature. Whew, it's got quite a few uh, design features here. Well, is there anything else? Um, we're just getting started. Next, we have this. This little... Oh, forgive the clock in the background if you can hear it. This um, like little tuft of fur. Okay. Oh, and he also has eyebrows built into his eyes. Okay, Whew, so in just this man's face, there are like eight different things that are differentiating factors from the simplicity of Sonic's design. Now, any number of these things, one or two of these things, could have made him a differentiated character that has the simplicity of Sonic. Why is Sonic so popular and Edgelord 59 Daniel the Hedgehog? Why is that not popular? Well, Sonic the Hedgehog is simple, okay? Sonic has ears that go like this, and he has spikes. One, two, three. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. That's what makes it so good. The silhouette, people. The silhouette is what it's all about. If I silhouette Antoine, which I'm not going to do because I didn't prepare for that beforehand, but if I was to silhouette him, it would be a little complex. You'd see this part here. See this. 
you'd be like, okay, what's going on? You might recognize the, the ears, but in this sort of pose, it's, it's less memorable than Sonic's giant spikes, okay? So the silhouette, the silhouette has to be immaculate, has to be a spicy meatball. And then also the character itself has to be has to be simplistic. And Anton has, in my opinion, far too many nuanced design features. Okay. And that's just his head. <laughs> like this this man we haven't even gotten to the most jarring part of his character design. And when I say jarring, I mean in comparison to Sonic himself. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Espio. Okay. Those guys that were the original designs. The original characters when you compare him to them he starts getting into this murky territory we see fan characters now that just are like r absolutely dripping in all kinds of drip and it's it if you are going for the simplicity and the appeal of the sonic characters you lose all of that and all of a sudden becomes dissociated and it becomes um gross to lack of a better word okay so his head how did they fix his head how did they fix this man's head let's look at what they've done dun, 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 dun. oh look at this all right well first of all this color muzzle this color and these little eye colors okay they just simplified it here all they have is orange what was that? Ah, there we go. It's orange and yellow. That's it. That's all they have on his face. They simplified what was one, okay. two, three. And then I guess this and this are the same color, but they don't appear as much. They simplified that down to just two colors. Oh, look at that. There's so much room to breathe now. I can look at him, and I think... He looks like a Sonic character. He looks like he belongs in the universe. It's so simple. <clears throat> what about the rest of his designs, though? So what do we notice? Eyebrows? Completely gone. Shave those puppies off. Now he's got regular Sonic eyebrows. Okay, what about these inland eye things? Okay, completely gone. They've, they've reduced his character design down substantially. Now you can't tell here, um, but also here, the back of his hair, okay, the hair part, you can see it also here, kind of like this pushed back hair because he's like, he's all regal, okay, gone. It's just this little front piece now. There's no hair back here. I'm I'm indifferent I'm different about that in particular, but I, I, I like I just like the immense simplicity that they went with. So this just a simple piece because without this piece here, he become unrecognizable. You know they kept they kept this, but I mean without this he becomes a little too generic. So now all of a sudden the ears, which would stand out. The unique way his muzzle is, which is stand out. Okay, two things, and they added a third thing, this hair piece, which is what he's known for. That's perfect. Two colors. That's it. That's all they use. Two colors. I love it. That's mm, good. That's what you want. You want it to be simple. What about his body? Okay. Oh, his body. Okay. It, it's so outside of the realm of Sonic the Hedgehog. First of all, I get what they were doing, you know, they're like, oh, he's like a regal, you know, like, Buckingham Palace guy, and he has these, these pads here that have, you know, the classic, whatever those things are called, like golden tassel inserts, so it has that, okay, those already, in and of themselves, are like, complex like if you add a staple piece like that something that requires a lot of detail the rest of it has to be vastly simple and while the rest of it is vastly simple what happens is there are too many colors because we have red 
we have yellow, we have the blue, but they're not done like, you know, this isn't blue. It's like these stripes, stripe, 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 stripe here, three stripes in there. And it just becomes exhausting compared to Sonic. Sonic is blue. He's blue and he has a tan stomach. But we have all this going on. And these are like three primary colors as well. So even though his outfit is simple, it's still a little too intense. Now, compared to most fan characters, this is actually decent, but we're being very critical for the sake of the redraws here. So look, he's got cufflinks here, he has these little pads here, he has a belt. The belt tucks into this shirt that he's wearing, and then it has this like almost tunic-like quality out the sides here. He has a unique tail. The unique tail's cool, I like that. That is cool. And then he has these cufflinks that are like have three colors you know these stripes and then on top of all that he has these boots and the boots are completely red and they were just kind of like we're just going to simplify it and make the boots completely red but honestly if you're going to stick to this yellow idea here then i i would have probably gone you know keep the theme going because now his boots just seem utterly boring compared to the the rainbow effect that his upper body is um but that's just my opinion I think it would have meshed a little nicer. And maybe, I don't know, give him like pants or something. Actually, that does look pretty cool. <laughs> something like that. You know, and then maybe like a, like a gold buckle or something. Not his, that like his sword can go into. I think that would help tie everything together it's like it's like a rug it ties the room together okay this like color symmetry going on but to me this just seems a little off balance how did they solve this well obviously they just went <laughs> to the whole thing see you later alligator we're gonna have him just be completely nude but we're still gonna give him a an accent and not a french accent like accented colors so they used white so now this man's entire character are these this red that is almost the same. Notice they almost they chose like two colors that are almost the same to ease off the complexity. Because here it was just like ah! and now it's like oh, it's just, we're just really we're going we're going for simplicity here and white. Okay, and then I guess the gray, but the gray mixes with the white so well that we kind of, we'll let it slide, we'll let it slide here. So simple. So his gimmicks, what makes him unique? His gray sword, his belt, and these things. Those are unique. This part here, okay, these little cufflink things here, super simple. Keep it simple, red and white, like Sonic. Okay, very simple, cool. We don't we let that slide, we move it to the side, whatever. Then his little wristbands. The the way they made that unique was they made him just red, fully red like his shoes. So you got the white here, the red here, the white here, the red here, the white. Okay, oh I like it. It mixes in with also these like this cross here, his belt is red and white. We like that color. So we'll because there's two colors that dominate the accent, the accents of his character. We can get a little fancy with how these look now. These are allowed to look a little different because everything else is so simple and it's able to be drawn together, right? It's like a rug, it draws the room in. Nice little X there. They also gave him chest fur that goes up like that, okay? Normally the fur is kind of like off to the side, but his goes up. So it's different enough, but it's the same and it's simple and it moves in together. And now when I put a silhouette on this guy, I'll recognize it's him because of the accents are now drawn to these, right, and his ears. Those are the main things that make him different, but it's simple enough that the, the silhouette is striking. This, just get lost in it. <clears throat> when we look at it again from this angle, look at all the complexity. Okay, you have to like draw this thing billowing out. He has a, 
Oh, he does have a sword. He has a sword hilt there. There's just so much flowing stuff. And compared to Sonic, who's like, hey man, you know, he's just like, what's going on, man? It's just too complex. Well, drew on the same layer. Nice. So, what can we take away from this? Simplicity is key. Minimal use of colors is key. A good silhouette is key. One or two features that stand out is key. Anything beyond that, and you, you've you lost me. If, if this was any more complex than it was, no, like, there's a reason that Antoine, for how cool they make him out to be, isn't everyone's favorite character. At least this version. This version, more so. Now, again, you might say, oh, wait a minute, but I like him. I'm not saying you can't like him, but I'm saying that in terms of Sonic the Hedgehog characters, Sonic the Hedgehog himself, this will win out every time the majority of people that look at this over this. Yeah, if you're into like TV shows and the characters in those shows are just like absolutely brimming with character detail design ruffles, then this is like, oh, this is so simple. But compared to Sonic himself, the standard, we want to go, we want to err on the side of this every time. So in the next episode, I'm going to absolutely dismantle absolutely dismantle your fan characters but the cool thing is is i'm going to redraw in like a sketchy nature and i'm going to recolor them to fit them to turn them from perhaps this into more of this or to align it with the sonic style a little more there'll be a link to this tweet in the description so if you want to submit your fan character by all means do that i'm only uh, submitting i'm only going over fan characters that are in this tweet all right that's it for today peace